I hope you all are fine and doing well. My name is Sahida Fatma Rajvi and I bring for you people the very interesting and informative videos of physics. Today our topic is about the waves as a carrier of energy. So let's start. Energy can be transferred from one place to another through waves. So it is obvious as the name suggests the wave is the carrier of energy. So energy can be transferred from one place to another through waves. So we have taken the examples of the waves as the carrier of energy of the stretch string. As we shake the stretch string up and down, we provide our muscular energy to the string. Okay, as we shake the string, uh, stretch string up and down, we provide our energy to the string. As a result, the wave can be seen traveling along the string. Okay, because the particles of the st string are set in motion, so as a result, the wave can be seen traveling along the string. The vibrating force from the hand disturbed the particles of the string and set them in motion. So as a result, the vibrating force of the hand disturbed the particles of the string. It means that the particles of the string get active and set them in, set them in motion, the vibrating force. So vibrating force play an important role. These particles then transfer energy to the adjacent particles in motion. So the, all the particles of the string are set in motion. So the, when the particles, initial particles get active, they transfer energy to the adjacent particles in motion. Energy is transferred from one place to another in the form of waves. So energy is transferred from one place to another in the form of waves. So as the name suggests, a wave is a carrier of energy. So wave energy can be transferred from one place to another. The amount of energy carried by the waves depend upon the distance of the stretch string from the rest position. So the waves, uh, wave energy depend upon the two factors, the distance of the stretch string from the rest position and the amplitude of the waves. The greater will be the distance of the stretch string from the rest position. The lesser the amount of energy is transferred from one place to another of the stress string and if the uh, distance of the stress string is lesser the greater will be the amount of energy transferred from one place to another of the stress string. And the energy of the wave depends upon the amplitude of the wave. Amplitude means the peakness of the wave. So the energy of the wave uh, depend upon the amplitude of the wave. The greater will be the amplitude, the greater will be tra the energy transfer from one place to another of the stress string. And lesser the amplitude of the wave, the lesser the energy is transferred from one place to another of the stress string. So uh, energy is directly proportional to the amplitude of the waves. Let's start further. If we shake the string faster, we give more energy to produce the wave of the higher frequency and the wave deliver more energy per second to produce waves of the higher frequency. So if we shake uh, the string for faster, the more energy will be given uh, to the string and more wave will be produced of the higher frequency and the wave deliver more energy per second to be produce the waves of the higher frequency so waves are the carriers of energy wave deliver energy per second uh, to the stretch string to produce more waves of the higher frequency wave deliver more energy per second to the particles of the string as it move forward so waves are also the carrier of energy. Water waves also ener transfer energy from one place to another as string. So how the water waves are the carrier of energy? Let's perform the activity. Drop a stone into a pond of water. Water wave will be produced on the surface of the water. So if we drop a stone in this on the surface of the water, water wave will be produced on the surface of the water and will travel outwards. So if we place the cork at the same distance from the falling stone, when we reach the cork, it will move up and down along the motion of the water particles by getting energy from the waves. So along the motion of the water particles, the cork also move up and down because the cork uh, receives the energy from the water waves. Okay. 
so this shows that the water waves are also the carrier of energy and energy is, is transferred from one place to another basically through waves so um, in this uh, video we have studied that the waves are carrier of energy in any system in case of the string in case of the water in case of water we have performed this activity in case of string we have studied that the waves depend upon the following factors the distance and the amplitude of the waves so i hope that you people enjoy my video thank you so much do like share and subscribe to my channel